Hey my loved ones, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a celebrity inspired look. So this look is from the Love and Hip Hop in the ATL reunion show 2015. I recreated Margot's look. There wasn't too many looks on this reunion that really caught my eye besides Margot's and Ashley's. Um, everybody else was like neutral eye with a bold lip. But um, Margot's was a neutral eye, but I absolutely loved her lip. I thought she looked really beautiful on the show. Um, I have on this lace wig from uh, Ozone Wigs. And she is bald, but I couldn't make myself look bald. So I did the best that I could. That I could. So I just threw on this wig. Something simple. Something very elegant to complement the makeup. Um, her eye was very neutral. The lip was very bold, so I um, recreated her look according to my skin tone. It really didn't look like she had on makeup, but I seen a picture and she did have on a little bit of makeup. She had like a light color in the um, center of her lid and the outer V was kind of darkened, but it wasn't too bold because it really did look like she really didn't have on any makeup or any eye makeup, just lashes and a beautiful bold lip. So a couple of the products that I used to create this look was some hot pots which are very affordable. They're like $1.99 on the Coastal Scents website. I also use a Wet n Wild palette as well as a NYX eyeshadow. So this look is very affordable. You can use whatever eyeshadows you have to create this look. It is very simple, an everyday look besides the bold lip. But I, I like a bold lip and I will rock a bold lip outside of my house. So the lip color is from ColourPop and this is the color Guess. I will do a review on the new fall limited edition. I don't know if it's limited edition or if it's um, on the actual website for the rest of the year or the rest of, or if it's a permanent color period. So this is Guess. I'm kind of sick so I'm trying to do the best that I can. Okay, so this is Guess. It's like a blackened purple. Very, very pretty. Very matte. And I absolutely love it. Like I said, I will do a review on the colors that I do have from ColourPop. I also have a video coming up for my um, liquid lipstick collection. So please stay tuned for that. So anyway, I always get off track when I do my videos. I use some hot pots to create this look. For the crease, I use this color right here, which is Barista. This is a Coastal Scents Hot Pot. For the lid color, I use Coco Cafe from Coastal Scents. And it looks like that. And I know my camera, I, I do not know how to work this camera. I've been having it for like two years and my ISOs is like really high. But when I kind of move the little dial to make the ISOs low, it looks really dark. So I don't even know the medium to where to operate this camera but I will learn this to darken my outer V is chocolate tea air and for the inner tear duct I use this color right here which is reef sand and I also use this wet n wild palette it's called the vinyl collection and I use the two colors at the top one of them is a matte shade which is this one right here and this is like a shimmery um, a shimmery sand color very pretty to highlight my brow bone. I use this color which is from NYX and this is Blame It On Midnight. So that's all I used to create this look. It was very very simple, very easy to do and like I said a lot of the girls makeups wasn't too extravagant on the show this year. I don't know what was up with that but I did like Erica's lips so I might cre recreate that. That was the only thing that really stood out to me was Erica's lips, Ashley's makeup, Margot's makeup, Mimi's makeup wasn't all that. Um, Jocelyn was the smoky eye with a little bit of glitter. Rashida, I don't know what that was. Um, and what's the other girl's name? Mimi's friend, the one I was with the green dress in the audience. Hers wasn't all that either. She just had a red lip, but she's starting to look real old to me. Anyway, let's get started with this makeup tutorial, so please stay tuned. Bye-bye. <laughs> 